All right, we're doing burr to what is point B. Let's get really clear first. Point B is going to be straddle back. So can we uh, backfly a straddle back? We get really clear. This is where we're going. What does that mean? Our straddle is wide and our pike is deep. Right, super deep. Get that pike deep. Okay, we'll go back to bird. So you're gonna mount bird first, okay, Lord? You'll be in bird. Watch what Sammy's doing. We're gonna go over onto this left side. And when we go onto this side, the opposite arm is gonna be the one on top because we're gonna cross our arms. It's gonna get confusing. Um, so remember, opposite is the one that is on top, okay? Um, or you could just simply grab the same side first, here, and then reach for the opposite on top. Because that's the only way this will spin. If this hand is on top, the base's hands get, they get gets tangled, you won't be able to spin. So we'll connect here, and remember the top opposite arm off, off the hip is going to be, be the one on top, okay? Okay, from here, be mindful of the fall. If you're coming over here and you start to transition too fast before your base has their foot over, you're going to land right on your head back this way, really fast. And sometimes with the base, when they react to it, they can get really scared and hold on to your hands. So be mindful to wait until you feel her foot shift on your hip and that she has her second foot on your, on your other hip before you start to turn, okay? So be mindful of not turning until your base provides that platform. Up to bird again. We're gonna connect hands on the same side first and the opposite hand is going on top. Okay, from there, I'm shifting my foot. Wait for her, okay, until she shifts it all the way over. Now you're, all your weight's on one, one leg there, right? And then you're pressing off this hand, so you have three points of contact now. One, two, three. You're kind of like in a side star here with hands for support. From there, and the thing that you can help with is Lori's tense your hip really tight so she has something sturdy to push off of and give her that nice low uh, leg here, that pike down towards the ground, okay? From here, watch her foot's gonna replace this foot. It's gonna come over. You stay there, don't turn yet. Stay there until you feel this foot slide over onto your other hip on this side and it'll catch over here and catch you there. Something that you can't visually see but it's helping this transition a lot is this particular arm right here, this opposite arm. As she comes over, she's pushing and slowing down by controlling this arm and absorbing a lot of that weight. Her straddle is wide and it pikes, and then this arm is pushing really strong so it slows down that descent, and then I can catch as deep into this hip as possible. And your job is to provide that constant pushing down. It'll slow down that turn and a nice straddle. That's the most important, this pike. So if you don't, you're gonna slide right off, right? 